Welcome back inside the film room. I'm Dustin Fox alongside legendary Browns quarterback Bernie Kosar. Bernie, the Browns are 2-2-1, two, two and one, and they're back at home this week with a stiff challenge. The L.A., it's weird to say L.A., the L.A. Chargers coming to town with Phillip Rivers and company. His athleticism is somewhat in question, but his artistic ability, he's almost a surgeon when you see him back behind center and the way he breaks down opposing defenses. Yeah, and, and you think about this offense. We'll take a look at a play here. They've got a lot of weapons on offense, including Antonio Gates. So we have the ageless one, Antonio Gates, showing safety in the middle, on the snap, both safety split, Five under covers. Look at this Mike linebacker in the middle over the left tackle number 59. Mm -hmm. Showing blitz, just disguising. He has deep middle. Phillip Rivers, he looks left, looks everybody to, down to the bottom of your screen. Three receivers set. And then high lows the corner to your top of your screen. Antonio Gates knows exactly which hole to settle in. Look at Phillip Rivers is still looking left, looking mm -hmm. deep left, looking left. And this and this running back right here is just going to be enough to hold this corner because the corner's got the flat, right, Bernie? And he takes the cheese, opens up the window for Antonio Gates. All right, so as we look at another play here, Bernie, they've got so many weapons uh, to distribute the football to. They've got Melvin Gordon in the backfield, Keenan Allen, and Mike Williams, the second-year receiver out of Clemson, we'll see right here. Yeah, Mike Williams here, again, he, the weapons that Dustin you point out are really astutely correct, but it's second and 18 right here. Phillip Rivers, one of the best quarterbacks in our league at taking advantage of those intermediate throws, those 20 yard throws down the field. So the two receivers to the bottom of your screen, you see one running right through the middle to take care of the bottom coverage, run the coverage out of it, and try to keep the safety deep in the middle of the field. Mike Williams just comes at about 20 yards on an old-fashioned square in Phillip Rivers, perfect timing. Look at the running back out of the backfield with the play-action fake. Take the middle linebacker out of that square end zone. Look at Phillip Rivers throwing Mike Williams open. He's not open here. He's going to throw it on the other side of that inside backer. Beautiful. All right, so we saw the offense there, Phillip Rivers. Phillip has 13 touchdowns, only two picks. The Browns lead the league in takeaways and turnover margin. Do you see any opportunities for some success defensively this week? Phillip Rivers is definitely an elite quarterback in the NFL. That being said, I think we're, I know we're an elite defense. Yep. And the way we're, again, I don't want to keep sounding like a broken record week in and week out. But when we get pressure with our four guys, our four guys, down linemen, coming after him, being able to drop seven in coverage. If we keep Phillip Rivers in the pocket with just four guys, seven, down, seven in coverage, I think we can get him to force some mistakes. It's going to be a tough challenge, but it's going to be a lot of fun to watch. That was a look at the Los Angeles Chargers offense.